click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Now, I just very quickly want to briefly discuss operators as well, just so you understand what operators are. Now, when you're performing calculations, obviously additions aren't the only thing that we can do. We can also do subtractions, multiplications, divisions, all different kinds of things. So it's important to know what symbols you use or what you need to type in order to perform those calculations. So an addition is a plus symbol on your keyboard, subtraction is minus, multiplication you need to press the asterisk, and division you want that forward slash. So if I was doing something like 10 uh, multiplied by 2, I would put the asterisk in there, and that's going to give me the correct answer. Okay, so those are the operators that you're going to be using in your calculations. Now, let me type in another little formula in here because this can come a little bit unstuck. So what if I type in something like 10 plus 6 divided by 2? What do you think the result of this formula might be? Because we could have two different answers here depending on how we read this formula. So I might say to myself, okay, I want to do 10 plus 6, which gives me 16, and then divide it by 2, which is going to give me the answer of 8. So if I hit enter, what is Excel going to give me? It gives me an answer of 13. Now, why is it doing that? Well, Excel is doing 6 divided by 2 first to give me 3, and then it's adding the 10. So there are two possible answers. So how do we get around this? If we are performing calculations, how do we ensure that we're going to get the correct answer or the answer that we're looking for each time? Well, this is where you need to understand the bod mass rule. And I apologize to everybody for taking you back to maths class with this. Now, if I switch across to the next worksheet, I've kind of written this rule out for you. And the reason why I've written it twice is because I know that in the UK, at least in the 90s when I was at school, <laughs> the rule used to be called bod mass. I know that in the US, you, you terminology, the terminology is slightly different. So you might know it as PID mass or maybe PED mass or something like that. So they're both basically the same thing. It's just slightly different terminology depending on where you're from. So I'm from the UK and the bod mass rule tells me the order that calculations are performed in. So anything in the formula that's in brackets is calculated by Excel first. It then looks for orders. So that would be something like uh, the square root. It then calculates anything or any divisions followed by multiplications, additions, and then it does subtractions last. OK, so you need to keep this rule in mind when you're putting together your formulas. So if we type in uh, what we just had before again, so 10 plus 6 divided by 2. What I could do is change the way that Excel calculates this by adding in brackets. So I'm going to place brackets round the part that I want it to calculate first. So I want it to calculate 10 plus 6 to give me 16, and then I want to divide it by 2 to give me 8, and it does give me 8. If I wanted to calculate it again in a slightly different way, I could remove the brackets, and maybe I want to place the brackets round 6 divided by 2. So now it's going to do 6 divided by 2 first to give me 3, and then it's going to add the 10, and that gives me an answer of 13. So this bod mass rule is really, really important, and you'll find this through any mathematical calculations that you do, not just in Excel. Now let's do something else. If I type in, uh, let's say, equals 10 plus, um, I'm going to say 5 minus 1 divided by 2. What do you think that's going to give me? Because I haven't added in any brackets. Well, currently it gives me 14.5. Now I'm going to add some brackets to this formula. I'm going to put brackets around this part of the formula. So how is this going to calculate? So remember, again, using our bod mass rule, it's going to calculate the first thing in the brackets or the parentheses. So it's going to do 5 minus 1. What's it going to calculate next? Well, we have a plus and we have a division in here. So let's refer to our bod mass rule. What comes first? Well, division comes first. So it's going to do 5 minus 1 to give us 4. It's then going to do the division which is going to give us 2, and then it's going to add the 10. 
So the result there should be 12, which it is. OK, so that is that bod mass rule. It runs through every calculation that you'll do. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.